Let's walk on the wise path. Many men find themselves easily falling into the trap of relentlessly pursuing women in their quest for romance. This pursuit often becomes exhausting and can lead to desperate efforts. However, what if I shared with you a more enlightened approach to relationships? What if I told you that happiness and contentment can be found without the need to incessantly chase someone's affection? Our journey for this understanding leads us to the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, a philosophy that can equip you with the tools to maintain composure, gain perspective, and cultivate respectful and fulfilling relationships. Stoicism, rooted in ancient Greek philosophy, offers a sturdy framework for leading a life guided by reason, virtue, and self-control. Its enduring relevance across generations is a testament to its applicability in various facets of life, including the intricate realm of relationships. In this video, we will embark on an exploration of the teachings of Marcus Aurelius, one of history's most esteemed Stoic philosophers. His insights will inspire you to reconsider and transform the way you approach women, love, and the pursuit of happiness. The Psychology Behind Chasing Have you ever felt the irresistible urge to chase after someone's affection? You're not alone. Many men find themselves in this endless pursuit, driven by societal pressures, evolutionary instincts, or personal insecurities. Society often glorifies the idea of the relentless hunter who pursues the object of their affection without hesitation. This glorification can make men feel compelled to constantly prove themselves through extravagant displays of affection, relentless pursuit, and even manipulation. But what does Stoicism, particularly the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, have to say about this relentless chase? Well, as Marcus Aurelius wrote in his meditations, despise not death, but welcome it, for nature wills it. In the context of pursuing women, this could be interpreted as a reminder that we must accept the natural course of events and not force them. In other words, desperation and relentless pursuit often lead to unintended consequences, including damaged self-esteem, strained relationships, and unfulfilled desires. Stoicism offers a refreshing perspective. Instead of chasing external objects like women, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what is within our control. By doing so, we can find contentment and happiness, regardless of external circumstances. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher par excellence, provides invaluable guidance on this path to inner transformation. He encourages us to waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be, be one. In the context of relationships, this means becoming the best version of ourselves rather than trying to mold someone else into our ideal partner. So, in essence, Stoicism invites us to step back, pause, and reflect on the consequences of our actions. It encourages us to embrace the idea that the ultimate goal is not the chase of external objects, such as women, but the cultivation of inner strength and resilience. This shift in perspective can free us from the exhausting and sometimes desperate endeavor of chasing after someone's affection, allowing us to find contentment within ourselves. Virtue in Relationships Imagine a world where the pursuit of virtue takes precedence over the chase for external desires. In the realm of relationships, this shift in focus can lead to profound transformations. Stoicism, with its emphasis on virtue, offers us a unique perspective on how to approach women, love, and the pursuit of happiness. The Stoic philosophy, as championed by Marcus Aurelius, holds that true happiness is not found in the relentless pursuit of external objects, like women, but in the cultivation of inner qualities and character. In his meditations, Marcus Aurelius reminds us that the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This principle holds particular relevance when it comes to relationships. Instead of desperately chasing after women, Stoicism encourages us to embark on a journey of self-improvement, honing our character, and becoming individuals of virtue and integrity. In essence, it teaches us to be the best versions of ourselves. The pursuit of virtue encompasses wisdom, justice, courage, and self-discipline, qualities that not only make us better people, but also make us more attractive to potential partners. In the world of Stoicism, 
the ultimate goal is not to change others or our environment, but to transform ourselves. Instead of attempting to mold someone else into our ideal partner, we focus on becoming the ideal partner ourselves. It's a shift from external fixation to internal growth. So, what does this mean in practical terms? It means dedicating ourselves to self-improvement, fostering wisdom, seeking justice, summoning courage, and practicing self-discipline. It means striving to be individuals of integrity and virtue, not to impress others, but to live a life guided by reason and moral principles. In doing so, we become magnets for those who appreciate and value us for who we are, not for what we can chase or offer externally. Virtue becomes the foundation upon which meaningful and lasting relationships are built. Instead of a relentless pursuit, we embark on a path of self-discovery and personal growth that leads us to authentic connections and fulfilling love. Stoicism reminds us that the pursuit of virtue in relationships is not just a noble endeavor, but a path to genuine and enduring happiness. By being the best versions of ourselves, we become magnets for love, attracting those who share our values and virtues. Virtue, rather than external conquests, becomes the true measure of success in the realm of relationships. The importance of self-control. In the world of Stoicism, self-control stands as a fundamental pillar of living a virtuous and fulfilling life. This principle is particularly relevant when it comes to the pursuit of women, relationships, and the quest for happiness. Self-control, as espoused by Stoicism and Marcus Aurelius, entails the ability to manage your desires and emotions. It forms the bedrock of living a Stoic life, and its importance cannot be overstated, especially in the context of relationships. Marcus Aurelius aptly wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. In the realm of relationships, this means recognizing that while we can control our reactions and emotions, we cannot control the actions or feelings of others. It's a powerful realization that empowers us to maintain composure and emotional stability. In the pursuit of women, impulsive actions and decisions driven by unchecked desires can often lead to undesirable consequences. It's easy to succumb to instant gratification, neediness, or emotional outbursts. Stoicism teaches us to resist these temptations by practicing self-control. Imagine self-control as a steady hand on the reins of a wild horse. It allows us to navigate the complex terrain of relationships with grace and equanimity. Rather than being swayed by every emotional gust, we remain centered and composed. In essence, self-control means making rational decisions even in the face of intense emotions. It means resisting the urge to chase after someone's affection impulsively. By mastering self-control, we gain a profound advantage in the realm of relationships. We become individuals who are composed, reliable, and emotionally stable, qualities that are highly attractive and conducive to healthy and lasting connections. Moreover, self-control goes hand in hand with respect for the autonomy and individuality of others. Chasing women often involves ignoring their autonomy and desires, as the focus is primarily on our needs and desires. Stoicism, on the other hand, teaches us to respect the boundaries and choices of others, recognizing that we are part of a larger cosmic order. In his meditations, Marcus Aurelius wrote, Everything is right for me, which is right for you, O universe. Nothing for me is too early or too late, which comes in due time for you. This insight reminds us that our desires should align with the natural order of the universe. Instead of chasing women, we should respect their choices and boundaries, allowing relationships to develop organically. Self-control is not just a virtue. It's a superpower in the world of relationships. By mastering this stoic principle, we become emotionally resilient individuals who navigate the complexities of love and connection with grace and composure. We learn to respect the autonomy of others and align our desires with the natural course of events, leading to healthier, and more fulfilling relationships. The art of patience. Patience, often overlooked in the modern world, 
driven by instant gratification, holds a pivotal role in our pursuit of meaningful relationships. The desire for instant results can lead to impulsive actions and ill-considered decisions, particularly in the realm of dating and romance. Stoicism, with its timeless wisdom, advocates for patience as a valuable virtue that can significantly enhance our approach to women and love. Consider patience as a gentle stream flowing through the landscape of relationships. In a hurry, we might miss the beauty and depth of the terrain, but patience allows us to savor each moment and discover the true nature of our compatibility and connection. Marcus Aurelius wisely stated, the key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. This wisdom extends to the pursuit of women. Instead of impulsively chasing after fleeting desires, practice patience and allow time to reveal the true nature of your compatibility and connection. Patience allows us to observe and understand our potential partners more thoroughly. It enables us to make thoughtful and well-considered decisions about the people we invite into our lives. Rather than rushing headlong into relationships, we take the time to appreciate the journey, knowing that some things are worth waiting for. Picture patience as a gardener tending to a blossoming flower. Rushing the process may damage the delicate petals, but patience allows the flower to bloom at its own pace, revealing its true beauty. Similarly, in relationships, patience nurtures the growth of deep connections and enduring love. Moreover, patience is a valuable tool for handling rejection gracefully. In the pursuit of women, rejection is an inevitable part of the journey. It may come in the form of a lack of interest, differing values, or simply bad timing. Stoicism teaches us that rejection is not a reflection of our worth, but an opportunity for growth. By practicing patience, we can view rejection as a natural ebb and flow of life, rather than a personal failure. It becomes a chance to strengthen our emotional resilience and self-control. Just as a sailor must navigate the changing tides, we learn to navigate the currents of rejection with dignity and grace. In the grand symphony of life, patience is the conductor's baton, guiding us through the rhythms and melodies of our relationships. It helps us maintain a steady tempo, even when faced with discordant notes. Patience allows us to embrace the process and find contentment in the present, rather than constantly chasing after future desires. Patience is not a passive waiting, but an active and purposeful approach to relationships. It empowers us to make informed decisions, savor the journey, handle rejection with grace, and find contentment in the present moment. Stoicism's emphasis on patience invites us to embrace the ebb and flow of love's tide, knowing that the most beautiful connections often arise when we allow them to bloom at their own pace. Embracing Stoicism in Rejection Rejection is a common and often painful experience in the world of dating and relationships. It can feel like a personal blow to your self-esteem, leading to emotions of anger, sadness, and frustration. However, Stoicism offers a different perspective on rejection, one that can transform how we perceive and respond to it. Imagine rejection as a roadblock on the path of life. In the pursuit of women, this roadblock may appear in various forms, from a lack of interest to differences in values or the end of a relationship. It's easy to view rejection as a failure or an attack on your self-worth. However, Stoicism teaches us to handle rejection with resilience and grace. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Reject your sense of injury, and the injury itself disappears. This Stoic teaching encourages us to reframe rejection. Instead of seeing it as a personal failure or an attack on our self-worth, we can view it as an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. In essence, rejection becomes a stepping stone on our journey, not a stumbling block. In the grand tapestry of life, rejection is like a thread that adds depths and complexity to the overall design. It is not an indictment of your character or value as a person. It is merely a part of the natural ebb and flow of life's experiences. Stoicism invites us to approach rejection with curiosity rather than dread. What can we learn from this experience? How can it help us grow stronger and more resilient? 
Just as a phoenix rises from its own ashes, we can emerge from rejection as more enlightened and resilient individuals. Moreover, Stoicism encourages us to separate our self-worth from external events. Instead of seeking validation from external sources, we find validation within ourselves. Rejection, therefore, loses its power to shake our self-esteem because it no longer defines our value as individuals. Picture rejection as a bridge on the journey of self-discovery. Each rejection is a step closer to finding compatibility and genuine connection. Just as a bridge helps you cross over obstacles, rejection guides you toward more fulfilling and authentic relationships. Stoicism offers a profound perspective on rejection. It encourages us to reframe rejection as an opportunity for growth, resilience, and self-improvement. By detaching our self-worth from external events and viewing rejection as a natural part of life's journey, we can navigate the world of dating and relationships with a sense of grace and inner strength. In the Stoic view, rejection is not a reflection of our worth, but a catalyst for our growth and personal development. The importance of perspective. Imagine waking up each morning with a profound sense of gratitude and contentment, regardless of external circumstances or the pursuit of women. This is the gift that Stoicism can bestow upon us, and it can fundamentally reshape how we approach relationships. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of maintaining a rational and balanced perspective on life's challenges and triumphs. In the context of relationships, this means not attaching your happiness to the outcome of your pursuit of women. Consider life as a vast and intricate tapestry where each thread represents a moment, an experience, or a relationship. In this tapestry, your pursuit of women is just one thread among many. Stoicism encourages us to view the entirety of this tapestry, not fixating on any single thread, but appreciating the grand design. Marcus Aurelius beautifully stated, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. This perspective reminds us that life itself is a gift and our happiness should not depend on external factors or the validation of others. Instead of chasing women as a means to an end, Stoicism encourages us to find happiness in the present moment and the relationships we already have. It's like discovering a hidden treasure chest within ourselves, brimming with contentment and gratitude. Imagine happiness as a wellspring within you, always accessible, regardless of external circumstances. Stoicism teaches us to tap into this wellspring, to draw strength and joy from within. In the realm of relationships, this means that instead of relying on the pursuit of women to bring happiness, we cultivate happiness independently. Picture happiness as a lighthouse guiding your ship safely through life's storms. Instead of seeking external beacons, you have an unwavering light within, illuminating your path and providing a sense of purpose and contentment. Moreover, this perspective allows us to approach relationships from a place of abundance rather than scarcity. We no longer feel the desperate need to chase after someone's affection because we are already fulfilled from within. We can enter relationships with a sense of completeness, sharing our happiness with others rather than seeking it from them. Stoicism encourages us to shift our perspective on happiness and relationships. By finding contentment within ourselves, we no longer depend on external validation or the pursuit of women for our happiness. Instead, we view each day as a precious gift and approach relationships from a place of abundance, sharing our inner joy with others. In the Stoic view, happiness is not a destination, but a state of being, one that can be accessed within ourselves and shared with those we hold dear. Building Meaningful Connections In the pursuit of women and meaningful relationships, Stoicism teaches us that the most profound and lasting connections come from authenticity and mutual respect. Rather than engaging in a relentless chase, we can strive to build genuine and deep relationships that stand the test of time. Imagine each interaction with another person as an opportunity to create a meaningful connection. Instead of viewing people as conquests to be won, Stoicism encourages us to approach each interaction with authenticity and respect. 
This is the foundation upon which true connections are built. Marcus Aurelius, wisely advised, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be, be one. In the context of relationships, this means being authentic and genuine in your interactions with women. It means striving to be the best version of yourself and allowing your true character to shine. Authenticity is like a mirror that reflects your true self to others. When you present yourself honestly and without pretense, you invite others to do the same. This fosters an atmosphere of trust and openness where meaningful connections can flourish. Imagine meaningful connections as bridges that span the gaps between people's hearts. These bridges are built on shared values, genuine communication, and mutual respect. Stoicism teaches us to be architects of these bridges, constructing them with care and consideration. Moreover, respect plays a central role in building meaningful connections. Stoicism guides us to respect the autonomy and individuality of others, recognizing that everyone has their own desires and life paths. This respect allows relationships to develop organically without the need for manipulation or coercion. Respect is like a foundation upon which the edifice of a meaningful relationship is constructed. It provides stability and trust, allowing both individuals to flourish and grow together. Instead of trying to change someone's mind or make them conform to your wishes, Stoicism encourages us to honor their autonomy. Stoicism offers a profound perspective on building meaningful connections. It teaches us to approach relationships with authenticity, respect, and a commitment to mutual growth. Rather than chasing women, we become architects of genuine and enduring connections. In the Stoic view, meaningful relationships are not born from a relentless pursuit, but from a sincere and respectful engagement with others. By practicing authenticity and respect, we can construct bridges of connection that stand strong through the winds of time, offering us deep and lasting fulfillment. The Power of Contentment Stoicism, with its emphasis on finding contentment within ourselves, is a beacon of wisdom that can profoundly reshape the way we approach love and relationships. Instead of perpetually chasing external objects, like women, Stoicism teaches us to cultivate contentment within our own hearts, transforming our pursuit of happiness into a more meaningful journey. Imagine contentment as a wellspring of inner peace that resides within you, always accessible and impervious to external circumstances. Stoicism encourages us to draw from this wellspring to recognize that very little is needed to make a happy life. True contentment, according to Marcus Aurelius, is all within yourself. In the context of relationships, this perspective can dramatically change our approach. Instead of seeking happiness through the pursuit of women or external validation, we find it by cultivating a mindset of gratitude and acceptance. Contentment arises when we acknowledge and appreciate what we have, rather than constantly striving for what we lack. Picture contentment as a serene lake reflecting the beauty of the surrounding landscape. It's a state of inner harmony that allows us to navigate the complexities of love and relationships with grace and equanimity. By finding contentment within, we become less dependent on external validation or the pursuit of women to fill the void. Moreover, contentment liberates us from the perpetual cycle of desire and acquisition. In the pursuit of women, it's easy to fall into the trap of believing that our happiness depends on acquiring more and more. Stoicism reminds us that the quest for external objects is a futile endeavor. True contentment is not found in accumulation, but in the quiet realization of what we already possess. Contentment is like a compass that points us toward the present moment. Instead of chasing after the future, we find happiness in the here and now. This perspective allows us to approach relationships with a sense of ease and tranquility, knowing that we are already complete within ourselves. Stoicism offers a profound perspective on contentment. It teaches us that true happiness is not found in the relentless pursuit of external objects, but in the cultivation of inner peace and gratitude. By finding contentment within ourselves, we become less dependent on external validation or the pursuit of women to fulfill our desires. In the Stoic view, contentment is not a distant goal, 
but a present reality waiting to be discovered within our own hearts. By embracing this philosophy, we can navigate the complexities of love and relationships with a sense of inner calm and fulfillment. Freedom from Attachment Stoicism, with its emphasis on freedom from attachment to external things, offers a profound perspective on the pursuit of women and love. In the pursuit of meaningful relationships, it encourages us to let go of the need for external validation and find strength in self-sufficiency. Imagine attachment as a chain that binds you to external desires and expectations. Stoicism teaches us to break these chains, to free ourselves from the need for constant approval or attention. Instead of seeking validation through relationships or external sources, we cultivate self-sufficiency and inner strength. Marcus Aurelius wrote, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. In the context of relationships, this means that seeking revenge or retribution when faced with rejection or disappointment is not the stoic way. Instead, we practice freedom from attachment, letting go of the need for external validation. Attachment is like a heavy anchor that keeps us tethered to the bottom of the sea. It prevents us from sailing freely on the open waters of life, always dependent on external validation and approval. Stoicism teaches us to cut this anchor and set sail on our own terms. Moreover, freedom from attachment allows us to approach relationships with a sense of lightness and independence. Instead of desperately clinging to the pursuit of women or the need for external validation, we are free to love and connect with others from a place of inner strength and self-sufficiency. Picture freedom from attachment as a bird soaring high in the sky. It's a state of liberation that allows us to navigate the complexities of love and relationships with grace and autonomy. By letting go of the need for external validation, we become architects of our own happiness. Stoicism offers a profound perspective on freedom from attachment. It teaches us to break the chains that bind us to external desires and expectations, freeing ourselves from the need for constant approval or validation. Instead of seeking validation through relationships, we cultivate self-sufficiency and inner strength. In the Stoic view, true freedom comes from within, allowing us to approach love and relationships with a sense of lightness and independence. By practicing freedom from attachment, we become masters of our own destiny, navigating the waters of life with grace and autonomy. The Stoic Approach to Love Stoicism provides a unique and transformative perspective on love and relationships, urging us to cultivate a love that is virtuous, selfless, and enduring. Instead of getting caught up in the games and dramas often associated with dating and romance, Stoicism encourages us to embrace a higher form of love, one that is grounded in respect, understanding, and selflessness. Imagine love as a radiant flame that burns within us, illuminating our path in life. Stoicism encourages us to nurture this flame, to make it a guiding light in our pursuit of women and meaningful relationships. This is a love that transcends mere desire. It is a love that seeks the betterment of both individuals involved. Marcus Aurelius urged, the best way to avenge yourself is to not be like that. In the context of love, this means rising above the petty games and dramas, often associated with dating and relationships. Instead of seeking revenge or manipulating others, we practice a love that is based on respect and selflessness. Selfless love is like a river that flows without seeking anything in return. It is a love that gives without expecting, a love that finds joy in the happiness of others. In the pursuit of women, this selflessness allows us to approach relationships with an open heart, free from ulterior motives or hidden agendas. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us to view love as a journey of mutual growth and understanding. Instead of focusing solely on our own desires and needs, we consider the well-being of our partner. We strive to be a source of support, encouragement, and respect. Imagine love as a bridge that connects two souls, allowing them to traverse the depths of life together. This bridge is built on a foundation of trust, respect, and selflessness. Stoicism encourages us to be architects of this bridge, 
constructing it with care and consideration. Stoicism offers a profound perspective on love. It teaches us to transcend the superficial and fleeting aspects of romantic relationships, urging us to embrace a higher form of love, one that is virtuous, selfless, and enduring. Instead of getting entangled in the drama of dating, we become practitioners of a love that is grounded in respect, understanding, and mutual growth. In the Stoic view, love is not a game to be won, but a journey of selflessness and connection. By practicing this form of love, we can build bridges of meaningful connection that stand strong through the tests of time, offering us deep and lasting fulfillment in our relationships. So there you have it, my friends. The Stoic wisdom of Marcus Aurelius offers us a profound and inspiring path to reframe the way we approach women, love, and relationships. By incorporating these Stoic principles into your life, you can nurture a fulfilling, respectful, and enduring partnership. Remember the words of Marcus Aurelius, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Apply these Stoic teachings, find happiness within, and share it with your partner. Embrace the Stoic path to love and relationships, and may your journey be filled with contentment, virtue, and lasting joy.